blaming the massive BP oil spill on government and industry complacency, a White House panel on Tuesday called for a dramatic overhaul of the way the U.S. regulates offshore drilling. Offshore drilling is the operation of oil wells on the continental shelf, sometimes in water hundreds of feet deep. Oil rigs poses environmental risks that can subsequently damage marine life and worsen coastal pollution. The candidates should be discussing alternative ways of extracting oil other than offshore drilling. Fracking, we know, we hear a lot about fracking there, um, so that's a, an alternate way. Um, just land-based oil drilling seems to be much less of a you know, burden on the environment, less, you know, obviously less potential for, for catastrophic spills. Um, the oil sand extraction. Oil spills affect the environment and human life. The marine environment and human life are affected by oil spills. More than 25,000 marine animals and 82,000 birds are killed. Humans are affected from the oil because of the vapor that is evaporated into the air and stays in the human breathing zone. More than 725 dead birds, 324 dead sea turtles, and approximately 39 dead mammals are reported to be the average number of deaths for a typical oil spill. Sometimes they get coated with the oil. So birds, will, their feathers will get coated, they can no longer fly. Um, also, it um, affects their insulation, their, their fur, like, you know, marine mammals and birds, uh, if they're coated with oil, um, they're no longer insulated against the cold. So a lot of them will be subject to hypothermia. And then, as we know, especially marine mammals, to clean themselves, they'll lick their fur, and when they lick their fur, they'll ingest the oil, and that will also kill them again. Some groups such as SeaWorld, Oceana, and Dawn are against offshore drilling. They are all involved in keeping the marine environment safe and dedicated to maintaining biodiversity protection. Dawn has helped more than 75,000 animals in the past 30 years from oil spills. Not only do they use their district detergent as advertisement, but also to clean off the animals' fur and skin. And I think just too many things rely on the marine environment. Um, we know um, not just uh, the whole marine ecosystem, but you know, a lot of land ecosystems are, are tied into the marine environment. And I think it's more important that, that we protect that and we know that that's safe and utilize other sources of energy. Some groups such as oil companies and gas companies like ENSCO, Sea Drill, the leading offshore drilling company, and TransOcean would support the continuation of offshore drilling. Oil isn't the only source of energy. There are many different ways of deriving oil. Some, as we know, can be dangerous but are less harmful to the environment than offshore drilling. Solar panels, windmills, and hydroelectric are some alternatives. My favorite is just all upside is solar. I mean, the more solar we can use, the better. I mean, the sun is free energy, and it's out there half the time, right? So if we could take advantage of solar, that would be great. I mean, there are other uh, wind energies is also another good alternate. Um, you know, I think they, they still have a ways to go to figure out how to stop chopping up uh, hawks and eagles, but I, I think they're working on that. And so, so wind is great. Um, you know, I think, I think some of the others out there have some downsides. Um, we, hydroelectric, you know, this damming up rivers mm -hmm. has some, some negative effects on the environment and a lot of the, the fisheries and um, also nuclear. We, we've seen that, that nuclear can also have some issues. I mean, it's, it's mm -hmm. highly efficient, but you know, when things go wrong, they go wrong fast. So solar. In 2010, the BP oil company spilled more than 200 million gallons of crude oil into the Gulf of Mexico. It is reported to be the largest oil spill in U.S. history. The coastlines of Alabama, Florida, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas have all been affected, as oil still washes up on the shore, causing long-term health problems to the people living in the area. 230 miles of coastline in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida were spoiled by toxic oil. And countless families who made their living on the coast had their lives turned upside down. This is an example. This was the oil spill in Australia, but this is the, similar to what happened in the Gulf. 